need. Have you ever used that word in a way that doesn't fit the meaning of need? Think about that word for a moment. It's a word that is typically misused just as much as love and hate, right? It's a word that we tend to utilize to get our way, to get what we want. And that's the thing, is want versus need, right? We tend to equate need as the same thing as a want. And what that has done to our minds, it has begun to trick our minds and we've kind of manipulated ourselves to believe that want and desire is the same as need. But it's not. Clearly it's not. But we as a society, as a people, have begun to do that more and more when it comes to our wants and desires versus our needs. We have begun to believe they both correlate and they are both the same, when clearly they are not. It's for that very reason that most Americans, for instance, are in tons of credit card debt, personal loan debt, unsecured credit card debt in particular, because we've equated want as the same thing as need. We want that big screen TV, so we have tricked our minds to believe I need that big screen TV. We want to have a house, even though an apartment or a rental is just as good, but we have tricked our minds that we need a house, so we go into debt and get in the hole into a house, a house we can't afford, for an electric bill we can't afford, and all that comes with the house because we think that we need. We are confused and going through a rough time personally in our own lives or in our own mind, so we think that we also need a dating relationship. Maybe you don't. Maybe you just need connection. But we want a relationship. We don't want to be alone. Who wants to be alone? Everybody wants someone to go home to or to hang out with and spend time with and to love and to be loved, I get that. But is that a want or is that a need? I'll break it down a little bit. We need connection and relationship. I won't argue that. From the moment we are born, we are wired and designed since babies to desire connection and relationship. When you, let's say, are you, if you're a parent or you've been around a baby long enough, you know that babies cry for certain reasons. They cry when they're sleepy. They cry when they're hungry. They cry when their diaper is wet or full. They cry when not feeling good. But they also cry, and if you've had a baby, you know this, they cry just to be picked up and loved because they desire that connection. We're connected from birth. If you think about it, you were in your mother's womb and then you're disconnected and you're out into the world full of oxygen and loud noises and you're crying, right? And what tends to soothe that baby is that the warmth of their mother. So that's a need. But we equate the need for relationship and connection with the same thing as the want for a dating relationship and we correlate the two and we think it's the same and it's not. We need friendships good ones. We need family, healthy, conducive to building ourselves again. We need connection. Human connection is an inherent need. That doesn't mean we need relationship, dating. Again, need versus want. Do we need that giant pizza to ourselves? Do we need that beer, that, that 12 pack of beer to ourselves? Do we need those pork rinds? Do we need those chips? Do we need all that candy and junk? We want it, we crave it. I'll admit I'm a chocoholic and I love chocolate, but I don't need chocolate to sustain myself. I need a balanced diet. I need water, H2O. I need protein and carbohydrates and vegetables and the right vitamins and minerals to sustain my life and to give me energy. I do not need potato chips and chocolate 
and I do not need a pizza or donuts. I want it, I desire it, I crave it sometimes, but it's not a need. And again, when we crisscross the wires between want and need, that's why obesity rate is so high in America, especially in Texas, you know. So again, we cross want and need, we mix the two up, and then we trick our minds and we are rewiring our thinking to be confused with the two things. Want versus need. We're talking again about fully fit mind here, which again affects everything around us. It affects our relationships. It affects our fitness. It affects our spirituality. It affects everything everything. It affects our emotions. Do we need to tell that person off when we're having a bad day or they cut us off or they bump to, into us at the supermarket or they upset us or offended us? Do we have to react? Do we have to retaliate? Is that a need? It's a want, it's a desire, it's a human nature reaction sometimes, but it's not necessarily a need. But we act like it is, I need to go say something. Do you really? Maybe you. what you need to do is calm down. What you need to do is slow your roll, you know? Slow down, put the brakes on. You might want to do that, but what you need to do that is calm yourself before you get yourself in trouble. You need versus want, right? What do you need? We have inherent biological needs. Again, like I said, water, food, good food, right? Exercise. Do we need to watch TV all the time? No. Do we need to play video games to sustain ourselves? No. What our minds need is wisdom, knowledge, reading a book, learning something, growing our minds, growing our minds out of the capacity that it is right now. Our minds have so much room for knowledge and so much room to grow and for creativity, but we stifle ourselves by, the, again, the idea of need. I need just a break to sit in front of the TV and veg for a few hours. Do you really? I need to sleep in. Do you? We need a certain amount of sleep, obviously, to sustain ourselves, to get the right rest for our bodies to recover. I don't think we need 12 hours of sleep. That's maybe a want. And granted, I'm guilty of that once in a while, too. But again, it's not a need, it's a want, it's a desire to be lazy and want to take a nap. Like, again, I don't need to watch Hulu and Netflix and just stand there and become a zombie. I want to sometimes because I just don't want to do anything. I just want to be a, a mindless person, right? Want versus need. We have to start separating those two things. And maybe a challenge for you is get a piece of paper and write down want and need and draw a line and come up with the things that you truly need. You need your job, right? To pay your bills. You need adequate amount of money to live comfortably to sustain yourself and your family. Do you need to make more money than you need? to work these crazy hours that affects your relationship in such a negative way? Think about those people that work crazy hours to make extra money so they can just live lavish, but yet they have no real, in-depth, deep, connected relationships. Need. Do you need to be popular? No. And start making that list. Need versus want. I want popularity. I want that bonus. I want that fried chicken, you know. I want that chocolate. I want that six-pack of beer. I want, 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 want. I want that big screen TV. I want this new thing of clothes. This full closet of clothes that some of these clothes I'll never wear. It's a want versus a need. You do need clothes. Don't get me wrong. Please wear clothes. Please. But do you need truly two closets full of clothes with a tag still on them. Name brand, added that you're so much in credit card debt 
that you have to go bankrupt eventually? Do you need that crazy eight-cylinder Mustang that you're paying a 30% interest rate? Do you need that? Or is that something you want? And once we start making that line of need versus want, then we can start kind of eliminating some of the wants. And I get it. We want things. Who doesn't? And I'm not saying don't have wants and desires. I'm saying don't make it a need. Because it's not. So I'm going to just go over some needs here. Needs that you need to refocus on. So when it comes to relationships, you need good, healthy, connected relationships. Relationships that build you and that you can give back as well. Don't be a taker. Give back to, right? Good, connected, healthy relationships that build into you. Not toxic. Not where you're fighting all the time. Nothing that's going to destroy you or diminish your value. Good, connected relationships. You need that. We all do. You need, again, for the mind, you need knowledge. You need focus. And I'm not saying you can't mindlessly watch TV or play some video games or whatever it is you do to decompress, but it's not a need, it's a want. You need to grow yourself. You need to obtain knowledge, take a class. If school isn't for you, then read a book. If that's not for you, then watch a, a TED Talk or a how-to on YouTube, something. You need that. What you need to feed your soul you need alone time, quiet time. And I'm not going to be preachy on this, but for those who need it, you need God. We all do. We need that moment where we realize that there's a purpose for our lives here. We're here for a reason. We need that. We need God. What we need, desperately, we need to take care of our bodies. Because if we take care of our bodies, they'll take care of us later on. We need to eat healthy. I'm not saying to not to have a cheat meal from time to time and have that pizza and those fried chicken wings and a beer or chocolate. I'm not saying you can't have those things, but balance, right? Too much of anything is bad. But again, what we've, done, what we've done is we've equated, again, need, our wants with a, with a need and we mix them too. We mix the two and that's why obesity is so huge. We need this giant meal. No, eat a proportionate meal that's good for you, that you feel satisfied and not overwhelmed full. Need versus want. We need to exercise. And maybe for some of you, going to the gym isn't for you. That's fine. But you do need some kind of cardiovascular exercise. Something that's going to get your blood pumping, gets your muscles moving, helps still burn fat, keeps you active. It is proven that exercise helps build endorphins. It makes you happier. It makes you more content and satisfied. Especially when you look in that mirror, it builds something in your mind, confidence. So see how they all correlate and connect? You need to take care of yourself. Again. You need to express healthy emotions. You need that. You may want to cuss that person out. You may want to just come to work all depressed to get the attention you want or to post something on Facebook. I hate my life. And granted, I, I will admit I've been guilty of that in the past myself of posting something to get some kind of attention, some kind of response. We need to stop that. What you need to do with your emotions is go back to what we talked about, is think about thinking about emotions, why am I feeling this way, and then have those healthy connections and relationships and reach out to someone, right? We need healthy emotion expressions. We need that. So again, need versus want. Make that list. Look at your lives. Look at your finances. If you're living paycheck to paycheck, you either have to do two things. Either make more money or spend less. I would suggest spend less. Look at what you spend your money on. 
Think about, think about how packed your fridge is. Does half that fridge go in the trash? I bet you it does. I bet you a lot of things you purchase, you end up wasting, you end up not using, and it ends up in a yard sale a lot of times or in the trash. Need. Keyword, need. There's a really good quote by a guy named John Powell. It says, to live fully, we must learn to use things and love people and not to love things and use people. The love of things has gotten our minds so messed up. Imagine when we start dividing that line of want and need, how better our bodies will be, our minds, our relationships, and our finances. How much less clutter you'll have in your garage and attic and your house. Think about the poverty around the world. The poorest person in America is still richer than most people in third world countries around the world. And what's funny about our society, especially the poorest person has a cell phone, they have a smartphone, they have a car, they have a home, they have food, they're able to travel sometimes. That's the poorest person. So why is that? Again, want versus need. If you live for having it all, what you have is never enough. I hope you like what you watched here. Again, my challenge to you is make that list. Start eliminating things of a more balanced life. Thank you for watching Living Fully Fit as we look at Living Fully Fit and the Fully Fit Mind especially. Take care. If you like what you're watching and you want to continue watching more and see updates and get updates about when I post more new videos, go ahead and subscribe down below. Not only subscribe, like and share it with a friend. Add a comment. If you're struggling or if you've struggled before with finances, whatever it is, and you want to give some tips to other people, help people out, please by all means comment. Also check out my Facebook page. Just type in Living Fully Fit on Facebook, like the page, share the page with more tips, tricks, ideas, thoughts, blogs, everything. Again, thank you for watching. I'm Coach AJ with Living Fully Fit. Have a good rest of your evening.